Hello everyone, Josh Jeff here. Welcome back to another G-Shock review video. Today I'm wearing the G-Steel. Still, in my opinion, one of the best release this year despite they've been releasing plenty of G-Shock watch. I mean, next will be the GPRH-1000, but still. Today we're gonna have a look something similar to the GPRH-1000 yellow. Now we got an entry level, a much cheaper one. A new G-Squad watch, that is. The GBD-300 series. Now let's go through all the basics. It is of course a 20 bar watt resistance since it is a G-Shock, not a baby G or not a regular Casio watch. Shock resistance and everything. It is a step tracker watch just like the predecessor GBD-300 or the GBD-100. And now we got a GBD-300 which much more similar to this guy. But in some other way, especially on the wing part of it down here, it is similar to this guy. Before we go even further, let's talk about the details, you know. The basic stuff it is sporty made for man, it has a step tracker sensor it is a g squad so exercising outdoor activity running walking just entirely to you guys it is made for different kind of watch setting i guess because it was built differently so it gonna feels different if you find this watch to be uncomfortable or this watch to be too big or anything this might be the right one for you because it was built different so it's gonna feel different so your experience wearing the watch gonna be different as well of course not gonna be for everyone just like every g-shark watch they release now let's get to the basic things again this thing retails at believe it or not it's much more expensive than the gbd 200 25,300 japanese yen but i'm guessing because of the colored uh, buckle down here it's just my guess and also the wing is different this watch weighs 60 gram 2 grams heavier than the GBD 200. I'm gonna compare both of these because they are really really similar by the way. And then the size is 48.9 millimeter. The width is gonna be 47.4 and thickness is 14.9. Even though uh, it looks thicker, it is actually slimmer than the GBD 200 for some reason. Weird. The colorway so far is uh, months of July when this watch was released comes in this mango orange or yellow colorway. And then we got an all black with black buckle. If you pick up the all white options, it also gonna comes with white buckle unlike the gbd 200 where all of them comes in black and believe it or not notice that i made a video for buckle swap before and i've been opening and switching this buckle many times to a point that it is now failed so that's the thing about plastic buckle it's gonna fail if you you know open it up and switch it up too often same thing could happen with this guy and in this case since it come with this colored version looking for replacement gonna be insanely hard though you could just use the black buckle out of this thing and swap them up so that's gonna solve them but still the point is that colored buckle like this is harder to find i think they're going this the same idea as the gdb 500 where it has colored buckle you know, to make it much more fun it is sport theme watch for this mango orange uh, colorway it comes this well mango basil matching with the band which is soft polyurethane material it feels different totally not the same with this or this or the gbx 100 or any g squad or even this one the latest version this is not the same feels as this one you have to experience it yourself like i already said earlier the experience of wearing this watch is not the same even though some people purchase for looks which well i do that as well but i'm telling you this watch is different in a way it, it feels different. The function is exactly the same. The idea is exactly the same. Everything else is pretty much the same, but still it is different. Same, same, but different. <laughs> Anyway, a few highlights that I just point out is the buttons is shaped differently as well. If pushing it up is a bit harder in comparison to operating one of these. And the front light button is different as well, but it has this shape that follows the bezel. Easier to press, easier to operate for the LED backlighting. So I guess that's good on that part. And then if you look closely on the start button over here, instead of having a different color accents like previously this model, right? It has a different color accents on top of it. And the bezel even has a slight cut up on this section just to show that button which is really nice in my opinion for this yellow colorway the buttons come with white accents if you picked up the black one it has a neon green accents and if you picked up the all white version it has a blue color accents over here which is a nice touch there Casio nice touch bro next up for this one it comes this orange darker tone of orange for the wing structure down here which i'm not a fan of i think i mentioned this many times before as a guy with hairy wrist this thing tends to eat up and it's gonna hurt and it's really annoying so knowing that this thing is much more look at that it could move 
very easily unlike this guy just sticks there so when it bite on your wrist it really bite hard same goes with the GBD100 it sits there when you bite on your wrist gotta bite hard in this case it bite from down here rather than over here in between the metal plate with this I think maybe down here but still it feels different it is very very loose I haven't had any issues that I'm trying to see here the perfect design will be with this guy where it is screwed down like that so you don't have any issues at all and it won't even eat up the hair on your wrist even on this side or even down here so totally protected this is the GBA 900 I like this design down here better actually we'll see how it goes I've just been wearing, wearing this for a couple of days to look at the steps registered in there already I've been transitioning between this I mean I have plenty of other G-Shots anyway let me put this watch on wrist just to show you guys how it looks again I think I already showed this many times before but still it is much more comfortable just because of the different material used even though it is still biomass plastic uh, like one of these but the way that they mix it the way that they finish it really makes a huge difference and in this colorway might be the one for you might be not I don't know but knowing that it has multiple different parts like this one is different color the wing is different which if I were to customize this watch to different you know mix of colors gonna be really really fun but since the wings down here is not visible look at that it sits in here when you put it on your wrist you're not gonna be able to see it unlike the previous release where you could expose over here 100 series it has it exposed over there for this model you're not even gonna see it so i guess if you swap this part nobody gonna notice so there's that something to consider so i guess that's the reason why right they at this portion of the bezel out here so at least it's exposed something right so they could mix up different color for future release so a couple ideas there already now that's just for a future video where I'm gonna assemble the watch. If I could find a replacement part, I'll maybe try and do it. And speaking of which though, notice I got a, a piece of part over here. Check that out. Comment down below if you know what model that this part belongs to. Hint, it is a Master of G. I'm gonna talk about that anyway in the future, but as of right now, that's pretty much it for the GBD300 series G-Shock watch overall. Same watch, same function as the 100, 200 series. Everything is exactly the same. Still same slow G-Shock move app, clunky and everything. Still slow operating, even though the screen is great. Exactly the same like we said, right? But at least now it feels much more comfortable. I guess that will pretty much summarize the good thing about the watch. And by the way, it price a bit more. But then again, if you buy from Buy Japan, you don't have to worry about the price. It is always cheaper than listed or suggested retail price anyway so there's that thank you very much for watching i'll be seeing you guys in the next one this is g-shock high fashion channel and um out